Welcome back. We are live this morning from the Democratic National Convention here in Philadelphia. The Democratic Party making history last night after making Hillary Clinton the first female nominee of a major party. California Governor Jerry Brown, while casting his state's vote, used his time to slam Republican nominee Donald Trump. California, the state with lots of energy, lots of enthusiasm, and the state that defies Donald Trump on climate change, immigration reform, and the $15 minimum wage cast for Bernie Sanders, 221 votes. And, and for Hillary Clinton, the next president of the United States, 330 votes. And last night, for the first time, Trump offered details on his plans for the minimum wage. What would you set the federal minimum there wage? It doesn't at? have to be. Well, I, I would leave it and raise it somewhat. You need to help people. And I know it's not very Republican to say. Well, give me, give me 10 bucks. People, but 10? I would say 10. I would say 10. But right. with the understanding that somebody like me is going to bring back jobs, I don't want people to be in that $10 category for very long. But the thing is, Bill, let the states make the deal. Yeah, but I want to bring in former California Governor Gray Davis right now. Governor, good to see you. Good to see you, Maria. He was making the point that, yeah, maybe it's 10, but really let the states decide. He was making four points. We don't need it. Leave it where it is. Maybe raise it a little bit or let the states decide. It's what I call multiple answers. You, pick, you like one, you pick it. Well, he has said several times that he wants the states to decide. Well, then that should be his answer. And what do you think? I think, uh, look... What the Trump and, and uh, Bernie Sanders campaign have told us, Maria, is most of America is not feeling too good about their future. I remember Jack Kennedy saying a rising tide lifts all boats. Not all boats are going up. Your boat can go up faster than my boat, but I at least have to feel I'm moving on up. Yeah. And so we, we've really got to reclaim the American dream and provide a, a minimum wage and many other opportunities, use the unearned tax credit, to give people more economic upward mobility. That's what the American dream is about. And, you know, the pushback from business people that we have on the show all the time is that you take the minimum wage to $15, you're going to put out some small businesses. You're going to have them cut jobs because they can't afford it. Where are you on that? I mean, you want to see businesses create jobs, obviously. If it's getting too expensive for them to do that, how do you, how do you balance that? Well, I know business leaders, they have a fiduciary obligation to their shareholders. But look, um, in, in California, we're moving to the $15, uh, $15 by 2022. We, last year, we created more jobs than Texas and Florida combined, the second and third states, 447,000. A lot of startups, a lot of innovation. So business leaders have to complain about costs. That's part of their job. But in reality, we have to have people feeling like their lives are getting better for all of our sakes. Yeah. Uh, I, I think the real question, though, Governor, I think this is the thing that the Trump campaign would say is that we have to create a demand for labor that's in excess of the minimum wage. That we need a wage that's way higher than that for people. And so what policies do you think that the Democrats are proposing that's going to help the country get in that direction, move in that direction? I have the luxury of not being in office, so these are just my thoughts. But you could, as I say, use the unearned tax credit. You could make, uh, for instance, with um, education, you can make it a lot more affordable, use online courses. You could tell every college and university that gets federal research dollars, fine. For every course that someone's in a seat, you have to put it online. Harvard has an online degree and uh, in your seat degree. So let's get people with more skills and let's match them up with a three to four million dollar, three or four million jobs that are going unfilled. All you have to do is take a few online courses, uh, give a good interview, and you just got a much better paying job. You know, what's interesting is California in the last few years especially has become really this incubator for liberal policies that seem to have taken off. I mean, for example, climate change, the minimum wage. Right. And your economy is going gangbusters at a time when I don't know, a decade ago, if not more, California was, everybody was talking about what a fiscal mess California was. All of a sudden, California is doing incredibly well, uh, and it's not just because of Silicon Valley. And so, to me, I think California has really led the way, and I'm, I'm surprised more people aren't looking at that as a real-life case of what the effects some of these policies can have. Well, I agree with you, and look, look who started Silicon Valley. People from Chinese, from India, most of the yep. CEOs, a lot of the workforce. So being inclusive... Just saying, we don't care where you can't, 
came from, as long as you have talent and skills and you yeah. can contribute, you let can me, make it. Let me ask you real quick. You, you got a loyal group of, of supporters of Hillary Clinton, then you got a loyal block of supporters for Donald Trump. Then there's this enormous group of people in the middle, right. uh, uh, independents, the, the, the highest number of independents we've seen in decades, actually. How do you reach those independents? What do you want to hear from these speeches this week to reach those independents? Well, I thought the president was great last night, in giving us the personal side of Hillary. And I think tonight you'll see the president, uh, President Obama and Vice President uh, Biden, talking about her plans for the future. But, you know, which plans specifically? Well, they'll they'll share it tonight. But past this prologue, and you know, a lot of good things happened when Hillary was Secretary of State and when she was a senator. Last night, what she did after 9/11. So she, her whole life, she's been making changes. America, so that will reach the independence then. I, I, because the country wants change. They, they want to feel their lives are getting better. So they want someone committed to that. Governor, good to have you on the program. Thank you, Maria. Thank you good so to be much. With you. Governor Gray Davis there. We'll take